So, we can do this the easy way, or the other way. The easy way, please. Okay, then all I need is a full confession and you can head right on over to prison. Wait, that doesn't sound easy at all. Well the alternative is that I bring the FBI in here and they torture the confession out of you. But torture has been proven ineffective across countless studies. Yeah honestly they just really like hurting people. Same. The fuck? Sorry I zoned out for a second there. What were we talking about again? Get out of my office. How can one man be so based? These are the questions I ask myself every day. Gah, how the fuck did you get in my office? I mean this is a public building and the door was open, so how do you think? Well, you're Santa. I can therefore deduce that you probably came in through the chimney. Sure. Whatever. Tell me, Santa. Have I been a good boy this year? Listen. You seem more or less on the level. Well, not really, but whatever. Point is I am gonna tell you a story. Is it a Christmas story? No, this happened last October. Not all Christmas stories take place in December. Groundhog Day was set in February. I'm not even gonna try to understand your logic there. Look, this is the story. My real name is Craig. I live on the streets. But I've been trying to clean up the streets all year. Clearly. Ever since I murdered that mall Santa for the candy canes he was carrying and took his costume as my own I've understood. You can never go back. You have to fight, tooth and claw, and never give an inch. It is not enough to beat your enemies, to earn their respect. You must crush them. Completely and utterly. Grind them beneath your iron fists until they are nothing. I thought you said you were going to tell me a story. That sounded more like a manifesto. Honestly I just needed to keep you distracted long enough for those kids who hired me to bust out their friends. My work here is done. Curses. You won't get away with this. Bye Felicia.